So I recently discovered that you can make your own pinch pleat curtains using Ikea curtains. Pinch pleat curtains are beautiful and they give a really nice structured tailored look to your curtains and to any space that they're in. So it's just a little bit more of an elevated look and that's something I've been wanting to do. I got some pleater hooks. I'm gonna show you exactly how you can achieve this look as well. It's pretty simple. It just takes a little bit of time and you can have your very own custom tailored curtains using Ikea curtains, so it's pretty amazing. All right, let's get started. I'll show you everything I'm using and I'll link everything down below in case you want to check those products out and let's get started. Okay, so I have my first curtain panel here. And as you can see on the Ikea curtains, they have these loops that you can put your rod through. They also have the pocket. But what we wanna be using is the pleater section. So you can see all those tiny little pockets. And you're gonna take your pleater hook, which looks like this, and it has four prongs on it. So the way that I'm gonna do it is I'm actually gonna use a pleater hook in every section so you can see this is a section this is a section so i'm going to use one pleater hook for every section and then also one on each end okay so we're going to start on the outside here and sometimes they don't ha have the exact same amount of pockets or slots so just make sure that you're starting on the very outer edge and then working your way in and i found that the easiest way to insert the pleater hook is to do it one section at a time here. So you can see there's a row here, there's a row here and a row here. Start inserting them all at the same time. That way you can slide it up straight up versus doing one row and then starting to move your way over. If that makes sense. The end sections are a little bit tricky so just take your time with it. Um, you can also use toothpicks and insert those in to help open up the slots, which I might actually do just to get this last row in. And that should help open up the pocket so you can try and get everything in there. Okay. Just take out the toothpicks and then push that all the way up. Okay, so now we are gonna do our first section. So the pattern we're gonna use is four, three, three, four. So we're gonna start on the right side here. We're gonna count over four. So one, two, three, four. And on the fourth one, insert the first prong. And then we're gonna count over three. One, two, three. And we're gonna insert our second prong. And you'll see how this kind of starts to bunch up in between. Push that towards the front and that's gonna help make the pleat nice and even. So you just tuck that under towards the front and now we're gonna do another three. One, two, three. And on the third one, insert the third. And then the last one's gonna be another three. One, two, three. And then that would be when we start at the other end, it should be all the same amount, evenly spaced. So now you just go move up to the next row. And you don't really need to count because you can just see the row beneath it. Push that up. And go all the way up to the top. And make sure that this is pushed up all the way. And then you can see that we have a nice pleat. So by making sure that each of these little loops is pushing outward, that's gonna make the pleat look really nice and even. Cause sometimes I've seen where they look a little puffy or they're not very even. So I'll show you again one more time and then we'll move all the way down. So one, two, three, and then on the fourth one, then one, two, three, and then see again how this gets sort of pushed up. You wanna push that towards the front side. 
Okay, one, two, three. And last one is one, two, three. And then we're left with three spaces on the end, which matches the other side. So just follow that line up. And push that all the way in. And here's our nice pleat. So I'm just gonna continue that all the way and I will show you what it looks like a full panel all done. I have one panel here all done. Just wanna show you how it's looking. And then on the back side, they have these little hooks and that is what we will attach the ring to and that's gonna what's, that will slide onto the curtain rod. So once I get them all done, then I'll come back and put the rings on and I'll show you what it looks like up on my curtain rod. Okay, so I got all of the hooks put in the back of the curtains and this is what it's looking like. And uh, it's been a few days because I realized I didn't order enough rings for the curtains. So I got those in now and we're ready to put them up on the rod. Okay, so this is the window that I'm putting the pinch plate curtains on and I have these shears on there currently but I'm actually going to remove that entire row and then only do the uh, light filtering curtains. These are the rings I got. I'll link them below. They're just black and they just hook on like so right there. Careful with that rocky spiders. They're swinging it. Okay, so we got the curtains hung and they look really nice. Before I only had one panel on each side and now I have two, so it looks a lot more full. And then there's plenty of curtain to draw all the way across without it looking like <laughs> just a sheet hanging up there. Um, so yeah, this is what it looks like when they're stacked back. And I will show you what it looks like when they are closed. Really nice with the pleat like that. And one thing I do want to mention, right here on the outside where the bracket is, we have one hook just on the outside of the bracket, that way it covers and you don't see that underneath or you don't see that behind. And then I think it just gives it a little cleaner edge to the curtain rod. Okay, so that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. I hope this tutorial was helpful. And I think pinch plate curtains are now my staple. I will never go back. Leave a comment down below. Let me know um, if you have any questions and I can help you with that. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.